Hi friends, welcome to my channel RK Raising Kids Vlog. Today we are going to know about basic geometry for class 5. So let's start. So now we are going to know about plane. So what is plane? Mathematically, a smooth flat surface which extends endlessly in all directions having no boundary is called a plane. Examples, the area around the table, the area on the blackboard, and the area over a paper. Next, point. So what is a point? When we make a fine dot on a paper using a sharp pencil, a point is made. A point has no length, breadth, or thickness. Examples, the tip of a pencil, the tips of a compass. Next, collinear points. Three or more points are said to be collinear if they lie on the same line. For example, the points A, B, C. Can you see them? Yeah. See? They are known as collinear points because they lie on the same straight line. Same thing happened to the points P, Q, R, S, T, U. See, they are lying on the same line. So that's why they are called as collinear points. Next is non-collinear points. So what is non-collinear points? The points which do not lie in a straight line are said to be non-collinear points. See, they're not lying on a straight line. Only two or a few points are lying and the other point are lying in the other side of the line. See, it's upside down. The points A, B, C do not lie on a straight line. So they are called as non-collinear point. Same thing happened to P, Q, R, S, T, U. Next, line segment. So what is a line segment? A line segment has fixed endpoints and a definite length. Examples, the line segment A. How can you say that this is a line segment? Because they are having two fixed endpoints and has a definite length. See, is not passing through the points, are they? So it's called as a line segment. But what is this line? A straight path connecting two points in both directions indefinitely having no ends is called a line. For example, PQRS. See, the line is passing through all the points. But if it's not passing, then it's called as PQRS line segment. Next, ray. So what is a ray? A part of a line with only one end where it extends in a certain direction indefinitely is called a ray. See, it extends from a point and then passes through another point. See, the point where it extends is called as the point A and it passes through the point B. Next, intersecting lines. So what is intersecting lines? Two straight lines in a plane which meet at a point are called as intersecting line. Examples, the alphabet X, the plus sign, and etc. Next, parallel lines. So what is parallel lines? Two straight lines in a plane which do not meet at a point is called as parallel lines. Example, the inward track, ruler. Next is perpendicular lines. This is a little similar to intersecting lines. Yes, let me explain. Two intersecting lines are said to be perpendicular lines if the angle between them is a right angle, 90 degrees. See examples, the plus sign, rectangle, square, etc. Next. Angles. Now we will know about the angles. Are you... Are you wondering what is the right angle 90 degree? Yeah, you will know in this part of the chapter. So, angles. So, what are angles? Angles are found when two or more lines, line segments or rays meet or intersect at a point. The point where the rays meet is called as the vertex. 
See, here is it. This is called as the vertex and the rays or line segments from which they extend from the vertex is called as the arms. See, this line and this line is called as the arms. So, there are three parts of the angle. They are... An angle divides the plane into three parts. The interior of the angle, exterior of the angle, and the angle itself. So here is it. This is the interior part of an angle, while this is the exterior part of the angle. See, the points S and P are the interior of the angle. See, the points S and P. P. And the points U and V are the exterior of the angles. And the points P, Q, R, N lie on the angle P, Q and N. So the angles named as P, Q, R and the angle symbol is like this. Okay. So now we are going to know about the types of angles. So commonly there are four types of angles. They are, first is right angle. So this is where I told about the perpendicular line. Right angle. If the angle is measuring up to exactly 90 degrees, it is called as a right angle. Example. 3 o'clock. See? 3 o'clock. Next is acute angle. So, an angle which is measuring from 0 degree to 90 degree is called as acute angle. Example, 60 degrees or 3, 5. It is called as acute angle. Next is obstus angle obstus an angle which is measuring from 90 degrees to 180 degrees is called as obtuse angle example 120 degree or 355 next is straight angle an angle which is measuring exactly 180 degree is called as Straight angle. Example, 6 o'clock. See, it is a straight line. So that's why it's called as straight angle. Next, so do you know how to measure angles? Are you wondering? Yes, we measure or draw angles with the help of a protector. So let me show you how to measure angles with the help of a protector let me bring a protector here is it so can you tell me how much degrees is it exactly measuring to this angle and what kind of angle is it yes it's an acute angle see it's measuring 30 degrees so this is a Acute angle. This is how we measure measure angles with the help of a protector. Next, so what what kind of angle is this? Yes, it is a right angle. It's measuring exactly 90 degrees. The angle ABC is 90 degrees. Next. What kind of angle is this and how much degrees it's measuring? Yes, the, the angle ABC is 130 degrees. It's an obstacle angle. Next, what kind of angle is this and how much it is measuring up to? Yes, it is a straight angle. The Angle ABC is 180 degrees. See? So this is how we measure angles or draw angles. Next is polygons. So what is polygons? A 
a simple closed curve made up and uh, made up of entirely line segments is called a polygon. A polygon has three or more sides. Examples are triangle. It has three sides. One, two, and three. Three sides. While square, it has four sides. One, two, three, and four. Four sides. Same thing is to rectangle, but it has only two equal sides. Next is pentagon. It has five sides. One, two, three, four, and five. Pentagon. And hexagon. There are one, two, three, four, and five, and six. There are six sides in Hexagon. So these are the polygons. Next, a circle. Do you remember what a circle is? Yes, a circle has no sides or vertices. The term associated with circles are first, circumference. The distance around the edge of the circle is called as circumference. Next is chord. Line segment that joins any two points on a circle is called as chord. Next is diameter, the longest chord. The longest chord which passes through the center of a circle is called as a diameter. And what is a radius? A radius is the half of a diameter. And semicircle, semicircle is the half of the circle, see? And arc, arc is a portion of the circle, see? It's just a portion, this means the A, B, C. Next. So, thanks for watching this video. Wanna have more fun? Then go to my channel, Art Heroes and Kids Vlog and watch my videos. 